Welcome to the beginning of the rest of your life. So you got it working. You can now do the convo shifts within. Show me, show me, show me, show me. No, there's nothing to show you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was typing to after I realized after you asked me. Yeah, it looks the same, but now it actually works. But what about the condo switches? You said that would kind of have a bit of a different thing. That is one of the two last things I have to finish still. But now he can create all the missions, everything's set up, so it will save it. They'll be ready. Just don't hit go yet. So you didn't do the combo switch? No, no, I haven't been able to get to it yet. What were you working on? Out of time. I thought everything was um, done. Uh, all that? the multiple stages and everything. The multiple stages within the convo. But I thought the multiple stage was the convo switch. What are you talking about? Like just creating, like what I showed you, where you can create the missions and you can have multiple stages and you can set the value, like the the cards and the, and the burning question for each of that. That all looked like it was working and it like it worked functionally, but it didn't actually save it or like set it, set all the database stuff up. Right. So I got that done tonight. So he can now go ahead and create all of the missions for all the groups if he wants. Uh, also the password thing that he was having is fixed. Uh, yeah, they just can't start the mission yet until I finish that last piece, which I will do tomorrow. Okay, I think he's delayed it till next week anyway, so. Okay, well, I mean, then I will take a nap. He, he had to, he <laughs> had to, right? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, it's, 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 yeah, okay. It is what it is. Yeah. Can you guess how many players there are in the game? 80? No. 70? 98. What? Yep. Holy 98 fuck. players now. <laughs> Holy shit, we got a game. Yeah. Are you gonna put a cap at a hundred? I think you got to. Um, start start yeah, another no. start another game. No, I mean it, I'm I'm expecting some of the people not to you know to drop out. So I figured mm -hmm. to leave it for now and in like a week from now I'll see you know how many people are still playing. Like if anyone's not there anymore, then I can count them out. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's exciting. You must be excited. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pretty sweet. <laughs> so, wh what do you think brought in the majority of the players? Do you think the the LinkedIn ad brought them in, or? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'd say seventy five to eighty of the players that we have right now are like professional game testers. What? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. from like Electronic Arts and Ubisoft and a bunch of different software companies. That's fantastic. That's going to take this yeah. to the next level because you're going to have the feedback. You're going to have you know possible investors as a result of it. And... Yeah. yeah, yeah, it should be pretty sweet. And why? And God darn it! Why? <laughs> I feel like I got such a bad start. You start late, then I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I'm. <sighs> well the, i mean you have a good start it's and you've played the game before and you know compared to most of the 98 players you know what to do already they're true. still just muddling around trying to figure out the game true i mean i i'm just waiting all the time now now waiting 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 um, yeah well that's true but i'm, I'm i think i'm going to try that i i just got my uh you know, when you go up to your telescope going seven times, oh. I, I'm just about to have that. And then I'm thinking, God, that guy's going to be out there punching all those planets. I'd better get out there, punch all those planets. <laughs> right. You mean uh, Tibet has? Well, I, you never think of doing it until, of course, your opponent's doing it. And if you don't do it, he's going to thrash you. 
I mean, that's how he got ahead, right? With the research points. Yeah, it's true. And I remember yeah, I when you told me about research it. points now. What's that? I have about a hundred research points now. You got a hundred? So you're so you're popping some out. You're doing it. Yeah, I'm doing telescoping and surveys. I surveyed all the planets in my solar system already, and now I gotta wait until I can uh, send them to another star system. Have you built your first uh, science ship yet? I have two. You got two, I see. But they both only have propellant rockets that are stuck inside my solar system. It's so slow. You, so you don't have the second drive yet? Um, I will. I should have it by tomorrow. The, I have, I'll have quantum drive by tomorrow, actually. I've already got quantum drive. <laughs> you got quantum drive? I have quantum drive. I put it as a high nice. priority because I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I got to get, I, I got to get, but the next drive is 23 years away. So it's going to take a while. To get yeah. You got to research job. some other stuff in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. No, everything's so slow. Cause you know, everything and you just like, but, but I think you got to add some resources. It's still, it's still too low. I'm down to, no. I'm down to 23 on my uh, metal alloys and I, I don't want to go to zero. It's such a, it's, it's such a drag, go to bed and then you got to wait like, three days to get your well, what are you building? Ship? I Why think don't you have, have any resources well because you're always spending them right there's always something to, to buy oh well, i mean i'm holding well, off well, are you yeah. taking a look at my stuff i'm about to yeah because i can't figure out how you're losing all your uh well how many metal alloys you got i got like a hundred of everything still a hundred i think so yeah how the frick do you have that? I have like 23 metal alloys. You got 39 metal alloys, apparently. Oh. <laughs> and what are you building? You're building a science ship, planetary supercomputer, weather control. And you already got two science ships and a destroyer. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's yeah, that's pretty good. I sent, a I sent a destroyer because, like, see, the planet is right beside me, and he's got a planet or she, a planet right beside, and those are the only planets near me. So I, I have a destroyer there now, but he could probably pound me if he knew how to make destroyers. I'd make two destroyers and kill me. But I, I, I'm, I'm putting my territory there, and I'm thinking, okay, do I go to war with this person or do I make them an ally? Because it's a big decision. Well, yeah, I mean. Hit him, hit him, hit the beat. Like how, like a destroyer can't really pound a planet, can it? Uh, well, you can put uh, nuclear bombs on it once you get orbital bombardment. And how 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 much damage does that do? Well, I mean, kill millions. You know. <laughs> There's billions. Like it's not going to. Uh, well, yeah, you, know, you can sit there and bombard it, like you know, over and over and over again. But I have to go back and get bombs, right? You'd have to go to warfare and get the orbital bombardment one. And then that will give you nuclear bombs and mass drivers. Mass drivers kill hundreds of millions at oh, a time. Really? Yeah. They're like basically you just it just you're throwing asteroids into the planet. And can a destroyer carry those? Uh yeah. Yeah. So I could I could load up my destroyer, a new destroyer, and take <laughs> and go bomb. And it also causes like global dust storms and like just destroys the like the habit uh, the um, biodiversity and stuff yeah it messes the planet right up <laughs> so that say something about my ethics <laughs> if i immediately my first contact i i destroy i would be surprised but i mean it's up to you i guess <laughs> i remember the last game i wanted to play by my ethics and this and then this game i was thinking why don't i just go evil <laughs> Because there's a hundred people, like, there's going to be a lot of battles this time, right? I think. I think so. I think because I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be. There's supposed to be more pressure on people to expand and to you know, there's going to be friction from trying to expand. Because before, with like twelve people or twenty people, maybe you know, not everyone was very Locked active. It's, it doesn't it, you can you can take a hundred stars and no, not even notice anyone. Yeah. But now, yeah, it's pretty. You know pretty slim pickings because not all those stars have good planets and especially with good players if he like if these are testers these guys can play the, they'll figure out the game pretty quick <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> so this yeah. could get that's what i don't know like um 
the amount of resources you get at the beginning and the amount of players you start with are two big pieces. Two big pieces. I, I prefer a lot more resources so you could build up your, uh, your ships quicker. This is slow. This is like painfully slow. Like, fuck. but but it, I see it builds the it builds when you do get there. Like I get it, but I'm just uh, I don't know. I mean, what's the perfect balance between? I don't know. Are they giving to the, that to you in school? Do they talk about that? Yeah, there's. I mean, there's so much conceptual stuff like that. But yeah, I've got you know twenty powerpoints probably on how to design a game. Hmm. from school now but have you learned any like is it teaching you something you don't know yeah well yeah for sure i don't know if i'm going to use it though i mean at this point it's i mean the game is finished it's just a matter of how to balance it now which is different than when you're designing a game from scratch with all of that in mind to begin with i didn't really do that i just kind of made it the way i thought it would be good and, and then eventually it just was like, okay, well, might as well just finish it. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's fascinating. I mean, to, to see it from the outside and, and sort of want to know now, hey, the map I made for you with the inflow matrix of the game of planets. Mm. Do you remember? I think, yeah. Yeah. We could send it to the people at some point maybe they reach a certain stage and you could you could send the map to people or maybe when they finish the game i don't know yeah i don't know i mean the thing is there's so much that needs to come up in terms of support for the game now like the game might be finished but now it's like there's the stat the stats the support yeah um oh I, I mean i don't even it's not i mean it's finished but at the same time i gotta finish invasion still i gotta finish intercepting a few a few mechanics like that still plus those are huge make it look better you know fix all these bugs have you looked on the discord it's there's like freaking 10 pages of bug reports here oh really oh it's it's enormous and they're very detailed bug reports too which is nice but there's a lot of stuff i gotta fix I haven't had a chance yet, of course. Because you're, oh my God, man. This guy, this last guy he just posted a few minutes ago, he made a spreadsheet with the bugs. And he, he linked me a Google Doc. And some people are already taking like gameplay videos. And they're going to send me links to that. And I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. There's a guy from Electronic Arts who contacted me just an hour ago. He said, oh, I really like the concept of the game i have some interesting ideas for you you know can we meet what from Il some electronic arts hey, you know what's that from electronic arts yeah what's his job role there um he is where is he he's a he's been working for them for six years he's a quality analyst wow and he's got a Bachelor of Electronics and Communications Engineering. Yeah. This is the game changer, man. This is the game changer. Really? I got like four or five people from Electronic Arts now. I think they're going to want to buy it. Well, I mean, that'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm, some other guy was like, hey, you know, do you want to, like, is there a way to invest in this game? I have $10,000. I want to invest in something. Like, what? Yeah. But, I mean, I can't do that yet. But, yeah. Not bad. We should look at some business angles. I have to protein that. Yeah. I just wanted to launch it again so I could play. <laughs> I, I find it's taken Thank all my you. life again. <laughs> Well, good thing it's slow to start, right? You I got know. stuff to do. I know. No, no, but it's <laughs> helping me do because I'm I'm now doing a whole bunch of planetary guardian background media stuff. Like I'm like this one. Like I'm just if Jordan's coming in, it looks like I gotta create all the front end for what we're doing, right? Like I gotta create the 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 buzz to want to play the game, to to do what we're we've got. So I'm I'm coming up with the, the front ends. <clears throat> um it should, I think it should be different stages, like you know, the person wants to join Planetary Guardians, or they're or they've been you know 
hanging around for a while and they want to do something now, whatever, then like the first step is like, boom, you know, you go to a meeting with Planet Sweep, it's recorded, it's put on YouTube, you know, the, you give them the rundown of like what the rest of the steps are. And second one, boom, they go to like this guy, he interviews them. And then, you know, I don't know, whatever, some kind of system where it's like you go through these steps well, and then the you, they eventually get signed a temporary role. They perform those tasks. They check in once a week. The meetings are all on camera. So accountability, there's like some sort of team meeting every week, you know, stuff like that. And, you know. mm. Yeah. And I, I mean, system. System. exactly. And then we're, we're creating it as we go. Right. I mean, <laughs> We're basically creating the i think the chat room part will will be doing that yeah i mean it's exciting because yeah. it's it's getting close to if, if you really get this done before all your other stuff takes over your life i'll um, get it done you're you're hitting superhero yeah, status because, uh... you're, you're hitting superhero status on this one <laughs> sweet <laughs> but, but but you're being forced by the need of the moment because of, uh, you know, there's 144 people waiting. And not only that, there's a whole world falling apart. Yeah, man. You know, we got to do something. Ferry Creek, I mean, they're, they're starting to chop. They're getting ready to chop, I think. That's psycho. And then the freaking, you know, I mean, I just can't believe the, the masks for kinks for children. Like the mask for children in schools, like. Dumbest. The kids I, haven't even been to school in over a month here now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's locked down there. Uh, for yeah, this is week four. Yeah. Yeah, this one is full we'll, we'll figure. We all we can do is add good. You know, the craziness, the bad is 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 there, but I think all we can do is add more good. That's the that's the should continue to be what we do i think i agree okay so that's that's great news man and uh the game i think this is going to be this i'm going to start doing my own show with it too but i don't want to show it to yeah. all the other people because then they see your strategy they know exactly who you are where you are and every, all that kind of stuff right so well just what you do is you just do your shows show them what you're doing how you're doing it and then and then release the videos like a week or two weeks later so uh, that after you, you get two weeks of videos built up and then you start to release them so that they're they can't really catch up to you like that you know they're already they're always two weeks behind your own strategy uh well we'll see you said other people week. are doing shows too um someone said they're 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 recording the gameplay already because yeah. because you know what i mean if we had a uh, a weekly analysis if we if, if we had our, our sort of like what we do anyway and then released it to the beta testers that would be a good show because we i think the people would watch us they'd want to know what's going on this is this is the report right this is like the game of planets report and um i think at oh, some yeah. point like if we had had jabats if we had had jab of the hut if we'd been doing little <laughs> interviews along the way like fuck man there were some interesting times there i mean there's some there's some times <laughs> where you know, you're on the brink of destruction and uh oh yeah a bunch of us were yeah i mean it, to me when i when i put that fleet outside of hot dogs home world or home territory that to me was my checkmate to him it's just like after that the fucking game was over man it was over yeah oh well, it'll be totally different this time totally different <laughs> <laughs> you know totally different but uh the, the gnesh there he's in the game again i think um darth vader darth vader's in it for sure yeah and he's he started an alliance already have you been yeah. asked have you been asked yet no <laughs> <laughs> he's probably keeping me out this time <laughs> i don't think he it's a good idea no he, he, you already started an alliance, right? Like, like a Discord alliance or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Be funny if this game for the rest of our lives kind of remains the background fun compared to everything else we're doing. We're always playing the game. <laughs> I tell you, oh, yeah. 
there was a few days there where I was just so fucking glued to that screen wondering, well, you, you know what I felt bad about is there was a time to attack. What was the planet north of me? The one, the one planet he had that was the oh yeah that one planet yeah i can't I had, remember what it was now there was a time he had 13 orbitals it wasn't that well defended i knew it i but i guess he i guess and i was going to go in at like five in the morning i was going to attack at two and then come in at five so he wouldn't be awake and i was going to take everything i had and wipe the shit out of him and that's and the next thing then it waited it built up and then you went in and then you got crushed <laughs> yeah oh I, and got, I was thinking my, yeah my entire fleet got crushed i knew like i should be attacking that then be, before he built the strength and it was just like for the rest of the game i was just like fuck, fuck. Yeah. that was a good that was a good game it was good yeah. to have that evil yeah it was good because he was strong but he, everyone made mistakes. It's easy just to lose your mind for a minute and then all of a sudden you lost a fleet. <laughs> yeah. And not having intercepts. I mean, just not having intercepts, whatever the limitations of the game create sort of like the interest of the game too. But I think with intercepts, way different game, way different game. Oh, I know. I, I, I really want to get it finished before people start doing stuff. And yeah. I'll get it fixed for like it's very close. There's just a math problem that I haven't been able to solve. And so, I, so the, the, the big right thing tackle it. Sorry. Um, but I just think the big thing about the intercepts is that how much how much intel do you have about how big the fleet is? That's the other thing, is like that's a well, huge yeah, you never you don't know until you get there. That's why it says there may be more ships that you don't aren't detecting. So is there <laughs> any you got your stealth? versus uh stealth versus protection. sensors so how, how like what is your math on that like how did you how do you figure well there's three levels of stealth three levels of sensors and then also the range matters so even if you have the best sensors and they have the worst stealth if it's super long range you're still not always going to get the best reading but if you're short range you know even a really short range will will overcome the sensors to stealth difference a little bit but there's a bunch of math involved for sure. That must have been and that in itself may need balancing. Like that's the thing. All those types of metrics they call them need yeah. balancing. And eventually, I need to set it up so there's there's you know proper testing going on that that figure out the balance somehow. That like that, like that's some of the stuff they teach in school is like how to how to test things and set up set up tests so that you can find answers to the problems of balancing and like you know user experience stuff and yeah, yeah there's so much to it really yeah it must have been fascinating when you're figuring out the first time and just uh trying to come up with your ratios or whatever are your methodologies I like yeah i like that stuff it's fun to to do that i got like dozens of pieces of paper with charts and numbers on them like yeah pretty good <laughs> well i i'm excited about the the testers group because i think that i'm wondering if you can send a message to the testers and sort of ask which one of them would like to actually work on the game in the back end you might be able to get some people well, to fix the bugs or something maybe i mean i don't think any of them would want to if they're professionals because my code is so messy because I made this while I was learning how to code, actually. Mm. So much of it is it needs to be rewritten. Um, no, ultimately it's uh, no, I'll get it done. I'll get that done. It's more of a matter of like graphic design and animation and stuff like that. And there was there's one guy with a degree in animation who says he wants to help. And he then he'll put all the stuff on his portfolio and he could do some animations like for the battles. That's what would be really good. Hey, do you know what? Um, yeah, I'm very interested in that. Rusty, uh, did I ever tell you about Rusty? I don't think so. He's a friend from Vancouver and he he he's very into animation. He's got a great imagination and he's in Winnipeg. 
and I've oh, sort yeah. of thought about him being in charge of the Planetary Guardians animation department. Like we need to get some other leaders in here that start to take over some big pieces of the puzzle in a sense. And then we can bring in some people to actually yeah. kind of do the work. Um, but I'm just wondering about bringing him in and then having him divided between like just coming in from an animation point of view and having someone who's, who's sort of coordinating and in charge of that. That'd be cool. And then maybe put another ad out for animators and we can start to come up with the beginning of the space <laughs> battles and stuff, right? Man, I love these LinkedIn ads, to be honest. Like <laughs> we're building we're building real empires in real life here with volunteers. It's crazy. Well, we got to get good at setting up the, the systems to get them going though. And I, I think that's, I want to send a message out to a team message to all the people we got already. Cause we got to, are we, they have to have a, I got to sort of onboard them a little bit, right? I think I should meet with them a bit. And I know I, I haven't got around to get to gathering all the emails and putting them together for you, yet, but I will soon. That that's a like I'll take over the sort of running of the people because <clears throat> I think you just you don't have the time. Make a link I, I have the interest and I have the things that I I know I want built and stuff like that. Right? You can still be the yeah. IT kind of maneuver, but I think. I think we need to get these guys going in a manner that isn't taking time from you, right? Because you just don't have the time anymore. Yeah. So we, we got to get that person. Yeah. So I'll do that to a certain degree, um, but let's just. But you, okay, but you can't you can't do it through email. It won't work. You gotta you gotta make a LinkedIn account. And talk to them directly. Oh really? Especially especially if we're gonna put more ads out and stuff, because otherwise I'm always stuck the, doing the go go to between stuff and email. You know that's not as good. Okay. Facebook's not good. It's not professional. LinkedIn is, you know, seems to be really good for that. So I got to go into LinkedIn. Yeah. Just make a regular LinkedIn account. Don't do anything crazy. Just put yourself on there. I'll make you, you know, admin of Planetary Guardians. And then you can talk to all this. You can look at all the resumes coming in and look at all the resumes for all the jobs we already put and all their emails and everything. And people, and you know, the people are there. Okay. You can access all of the people that we interviewed and all of the people that, applied for all of those different jobs they're all still sitting there like all the all the information okay. all the resumes are, are right on the linkedin for, okay. for planetary guardians okay okay so i think we should actually take them through the chat room as part of their onboarding process they understand here's one of our softwares this is our first you know one of our, our first two flagships you came in through it and this is how, and this is where we got to make it better. This is what we're going to do. Da, 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 da. So we got to get yeah. them using the tool to even begin to understand what it is. But starting to look at the, like the, to me, the bigger picture is creating web TV shows around the issues of the day. Um, and the tools are going to help towards that. Hey, what did you think of my first contact convo? I'm, so, I'm thinking of making a 72 of these. Well, wow. each one with a different Curiosity combo. at first contact combo. Yeah, that's like the value and that's the combo type. Oh. And so I can actually have this, I'm gonna have personal and then I'll make, I'll have them for sort of general. Um, without my name in it and then people can start to that could be another revenue stream i think is making these and having people in the background making them custom design for people because they're going to have something different from curiosity or whatever hmm. yeah yeah you could be right it's a pretty good idea let me just see. I want to see if there's any people coming to the website. Oh, I got to turn off my background. You can't see. What's that? Um, oh, can you make? Oh, no, I don't need to share my screen. Hold on. I was just going to show you. I got another computer set up right now to. Show the people so you can have this dashboard all the time. Oh, cool. That's all the new people coming in. 
Yeah, it's thir 13 people online right now. Looks like they're all. See, and so, and so you're watching Vancouver, your sequencing. one in Winnipeg, one in Belfast. I don't know where the other people are. That's cool. Well, so yeah. how do you get those stats? Do you attach something to the game that gives you the stats, or is it part of your <clears throat> data? Yeah, so we'll we'll have the same thing for planetary guardian setups. Um, it's it's called Google Analytics. So Google itself actually provides this free service where you just put a thing on there and then you can go to Google Analytics. Okay. And they they actually track a lot more stuff than than I'm able to. Like they know where all these people are from. Like there's me, two people in Vancouver, one person in Winnipeg, one person in Bayshore Gardens, wherever that is. Couple, one person in Rangpur, uh, that's Bangladesh, Katak, India, someone in Italy, and then someone in Belfast. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But I just like it. I have this this uh, world map underneath the world map, <laughs> just in the corner of the room. So that's set up all the time. Map plants over and and look. Let's see, you know, okay, you know, that's going on. So what still needs to get done? For the planetary guardians, um, yeah, you can tell. Okay, so tell Olivia that Olivier that I I fixed the password thing. Um, he can add users, and they should everything should work fine now. There was a problem with the MD five. If he needs to know, I don't think he cares why it's fixed. Uh, and he can go ahead and create all the missions for all the groups if he wants. And um, I've tell you can tell them I, I've disabled the seven step mission for now, and just the free missions are there, which have the burning questions, and the, you just put them at number of stages. You saw that. Um, maybe if you want, you can explain it to him. But it's all there's writing; it's written up there anyway. But basically, the passwords are done, or, or the password thing's fixed. And you can create the chat rooms and um, yeah, basically you can tell them I'm just finishing setting up the, the actual in chat room transition part for the different stages, but the, but the, the missions can be set up and they'll be ready to go. Okay. I mean, he just needs it for next week to do one burning question kind of thing. And then the week after that is the seven step thing. So. Yeah, that's easy then. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. And then I'll 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 put that done soon then. Ucha Betta's just logged in. Oh. Do you, do you do you have a counter that says the amount of time they have spent in the game? Actually, no. It's a good idea. That would be a great data to have. So you could tell if he was like 60 hours in the game and everyone else is 10. <laughs> well, yeah. Do, do you see me logged on a lot? Yep. Am I logged on more than other people? Yeah, you're definitely one of the, the more logging on persons. <laughs> Uh, to bet as and then there's yeah there's a because i see the you know empire names always sitting in the screen who's logged in i see there's a few of them like thrash nosh the thrash nosh empire they're logging in all the time i don't know who they are and the because kingdom and to bet as and there's a few i don't there's know hot dogs. To, but yeah it'd be nice to start tracking them more I'm just, fuck, it'd be cool if we could combine the chat rooms with the game of planets <laughs> in some way. Well, like, so have it so 
they're playing, we're playing, but we're also chatting as teams. That's what I mean, the teamwork. At some point, let's say if we, there's 10 teams of 10 or 12 teams of 12, let's say 144 people start the game. And that you're actually, you're given, there's 12 of you, like, is this a random 12? And then at some point you come into the chat room and start talking together. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think during the game, like that's why people like Discord, because one of the things you can do is um, you can all talk to each other live while you're playing the game, right? So okay. people use Discord just for that. Like they play those shooter games and then they're talking right. to each other at the same time on Discord. Like, oh, check behind the wall. And like, I got this thing. Pick up, pick that up. And, you know, so people will probably use Discord for that too, to just. But the thing is because, because this game is slower, like it's not a one-man shooter, it's more strategy and making decisions. And it's, so there's a lot of time in between yeah there's, so right I, now I'm there's just, not a lot of stuff they can coordinate that's true well i'm just yeah i'm just yeah like i'm just thinking that you get to know each other in through by giving them missions like mission one could be um what you get your everyone get their first science ship up kind of thing and then they're just yeah. talking you're just talking as you go say what do you got to do i'm doing this well, I did this yeah see like that that that's going to be needed um that that will be necessary once we add like the different scenarios and stuff that people could join like for example the team one that you thought of right where <laughs> yeah you know it's, it's all teams of four or whatever teams of something because then yeah when those people end up joining they don't they probably don't know each other and they're in different parts of the galaxy and they need to coordinate yeah and they'll all be working together so yeah getting you know getting the science ship up and getting this this research that research you know and setting like group goals and stuff would be important it would just it would it would really teach team coordination right team strategy team kind of like knowledge sharing in a manner that i think would be better than most ways to actually teach those things you know in school kind of thing like i i don't i think the education world needs to <clears throat> connect with the game world a lot closer because it's you know the oh, kids yeah. the kids yeah. attention is in the games it's not this one is really in their schooling. So yeah. we could, like, if we could kind of combine, that's why, like, I know you say you don't want to integrate, but I just think there's, there's ways of integrating that maybe you haven't thought of. I think integrating is good. I just don't think everything needs to be integrated all the time. <laughs> True. And that, that there's certain things that need to be not integrated ever. There's limits to integration, I think. That's all. Oh. and like the, there, there's more than one like integration is is one useful thing but there's also segregation or perhaps compartmentalization or you know different organizations i guess organizations different kinds of organizations than just that like integration is is very good it's very good for the whole and then also there needs to be like, you know, departments or whatever you want to call it, like subgroups or something that like concentrate on this stuff and then this concentrate on this stuff, but that somewhere they all integrate. Right. Both I think has to happen for sure. Right? <clears throat> well, I think as, as we move more into systems thinking, the relationship between the whole and the part is at the basis of it, right? Like it's, it's, it's all about language and boundaries and sort of software as language and boundaries in real form. Yeah, I think, yeah, like the government of the future will be more like what, what you're, what you're uh, conceived, like the idea that <coughs> you have all these different groups and then within the groups, they have roles or representations or whatever. And then those representations actually form different, different groups. And there's probably like a third layer of that that can be created and stuff. And yeah rotation of, of people and you know stuff um, anyway a bunch of stuff like that combined would make a good government i think yeah i mean it's essentially going to be an ai you know they already are ais in a sense well we're already yeah we're already using ai to control the planet or to control our countries or whatever it's just it's it's called the legal system <laughs> Yeah. and the economic system and all these systems that we put in place the government systems so that you can 
move people in and out of these positions and, and they the government itself or, or whatever the the structures themselves still function yeah we've created very 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 slow processing systems that are artificial intelligence basically we're just approaching a point where we can like create artificial sentience which is totally different than artificial intelligence mm. or artificial because <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> we've had artificial intelligence for a long time but what we're approaching is something else like artificial it should be artificial intelligence but that but that's like a thinking mind a thinking an artificially thinking mind that's what we're approaching now where that's totally different than just like things that are automated well it's all a system of rules one way or the other whether it's a human doing yeah, it or but when, or you an, doing when you have an entity whether it has legs and arms or not if it if it can think for itself that's something we don't have yet for sure and that's what we'll well that we know of. well that, that we know of i don't think they have any no not, i think if, the if i was that military if i was that ai entity in the beginning i i'd keep it small and i'd, I'd keep myself obscure <laughs> I think about yeah. it, on the internet, there could be some AI <laughs> that there is some form, there's got to be some form of uh, consciousness that's in the form of machines that is self aware, that is realizing what it is to be self aware with humans around. Like this, I don't think so. Eh, I'd be surprised. No, I think we know. I don't know. I mean, part of intelligence to me would be to, to keep the awareness away from the humans as to your real existence. Well. Obscurity has its function. I, I just don't think we've gotten there yet. Well, we haven't something else has it may have already been around it may have always been around i mean never know oh, maybe you know life itself is artificial intelligence created by some other form of life mm. that we wouldn't even know as life because they created a whole you know machine system of, of dna and all this stuff mm. anyway you got to get to bed don't you yeah 601 a.m it is time for me to sleep. Jesus. So you work good at night. Focus. It's the only time you got alone. That helps. Sometimes that's what I need. But I mean, I know I've just got into this habit of in the last few days or few weeks of like just trying to do too much stuff. And then I end up saying, okay, yeah, I can do it by tomorrow. And then I end up staying up all night doing it. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I'll get those last bit stuff done and then I can focus a little bit more on my game, get those bugs fixed, and then it'll be time to make the mechanics for the seven steps. <laughs> we, yep. we need some help. We need some help. Okay, see you, brother. All right, good night, good night.